Take me back to a place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to an age when the world felt small. Way back before we blew it all. Take me back to a place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to an age when the world felt small. Way back before we blew it all. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode number. I think this is four of building the New York City subway here in Nimby Rails. Now in today's video we're going to take a bit of a break from line A. We've been working on line A since the start of the series and today we're going to be taking a look at finishing off and hopefully timetabling line L which is the line that I have built um, which goes from 14th Street 8th Avenue over here all the way through. Um, I've currently built it to here and it goes down to Carnarcy in some aspect. Um, so first of all what I'm going to be doing is putting in New York City subway New York City subway lines and routes list of New York City subway services L the route um And I'm trying to work out if there's a depot. Methinks that the depot is primarily But either or we'll have a look um, on this map at depots. Um, if I take a look at Carnarsi, I think it's Carnarsi. Yeah, there's a big there's a big yard that's hopefully big enough for all the trains. If not, I don't know if part of East New York Yard is utilised by us, I don't think it is. I don't think there's any direct way we can access any of it. It's all for these, um, for J and Z. For lines J and Z. And also the thing is, line A also comes through here, which is good as well. Anyway, East New York Atlantic Avenue is in. There should be a crossover after there. Which I appear to have forgotten about. And then coming down, you've got this is Sutter Avenue. I th I expect I probably put it in the right place. And then Livonia Avenue. I'm going to guess it'll be down here. I presume it was, but I'll have a look on Open Street Map anyway. Open Railway Map, sorry. So Sutter Avenue is indeed where I've put it. Um, and then it's here. And this is Livonia Avenue. I 
think the name applies to both. No, it doesn't. It's just Livonia Avenue for L, which is interesting. Um, there's also a quick crossover. And then the other line is along here. Anyway, we're not going to worry about that. Um, next up is New Lots Avenue. Which is... I really can't type sometimes. It's a bit of a shame, but I'm just really bad at typing sometimes. There's also a line off to connect up to some other line, which then in turn connects up with um, line wherever it is. Um. I'm just going to leave it at that and move on to East 105th Street which is Island Platform. And this is actually a rare sight, if I'm going to be honest, I think. New York City is above ground and not on a viaduct. That's a very rare and momentous occasion, to be honest. Um. into position and you still need to build a viaduct for a second and then you can be on it there and then after East 105 Street um, you've got Karnasi Rockway Parkway and the Yard You pretty much you'll pop you at fifteen apart as well because you you look more like fifteen than say ten. Misplaced the station slightly, it should be a bit further south. About there. Now I need to work out how on earth I'm meant to build this yard without it deciding it wants to connect to the station. 
and I've decided that I am not going to even attempt to do probably be cause for some very disgruntled passengers but as long as I set the line to our passenger service hopefully nothing will play out play up um I'm trying to think about how long the line will take, roughly. It's an hour, four minute intervals. I've only got space for 12 trains. So A, if it takes more than an hour, I've got a problem. Anyway, one, two, three. There's also could definitely fit more than 12 trains in there. Let's try this again. You guys are going in there. You guys are going up against them there. And then we'll fit a third bunch of you going in there. All will go perfectly smoothly. One hopes. One plays doubtfully. This is going to look really sketchy. I will admit that. But I need to have the storage for every single train. And I am not liking my chances otherwise. Uh, right. There. There. Honestly, I'm not building a single yard to scale, so apologies. If you want a yard built to scale, go for um, Oxalid. If you want everything else, like the timetable and done right, go for me. Um, this is how I'm going to phrase it. I am not doing a yard to scale. Um, car. No, it's can. Nasty rock away PKWI and depot. Now, what I need is um, oh god, this is gonna be a small crossover, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And this is E105 Street. I may as well just put East. Um, there we go. That's the rest of that line built. Um, now let's set up a line in the depot line. And I need to build every blueprint. Build. That was satisfying. We also need to signal. Let's signal. Let's signal the line. I'm going to signal normally. Um, and by normally, I mean with the block releases, etc. 
because it probably runs better and more efficiently, especially if they're not having to stop at signals every 20 seconds. We'll extend that a bit. Honestly, I'm not going to worry about this bit for now. I'm just going to hope it doesn't cause any trouble. Okay, like that. This is a bit tricky now. Especially as I've not completely finished this depot here. You, you, you. Uh, you also need that then. You need a signal about there. You need a signal about there. You need a signal there. You can't have that signal there. Because of things coming into the depot. Right, there we go. I've not named you. I've not named any of these. Okay. Um, we'll end the video after signalling. I'll go through and name these all before the next video. Because they're all public schools at the moment. And I doubt they're ne meant to be named public schools. There we go. There's the next one. I'll also go through and put just a load of directional arrows. Oh, that's the end, that's why. <laughs> okay. In that case, I don't know why there's a siding there, but... Nevertheless. Um, that's it for this video. I know it's probably been slightly shorter than the last video, but... Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.